Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to develop our starter base a bit further. Introduce a few systems such as the Wheel of Pain and the Pit of Yog. Also, we will try to get a few trolls and break them in the Wheel of Pain so we can use them around our settlement and in the process do some exploration, gathering and building. All that and much more coming right up. Let's just continue to put some foundations in this direction. Uh, I plan to build a small bridge across this river so our crossing is faster and easier while we do some exploration and gathering as well. Okay, this seems to be aligned enough. Let's just destroy these extra foundations that we use to get the bridge aligned with the main building. Uh, keep in mind that the build itself is going to be in speed mode, but feel free to use a YouTube panel at any time to slow the construction. Alright fellas, the settlement is starting to take shape. We have the new bridge on the north side of the base. We also completed the platform where I will put the wheels of pain upon. Now checking our agenda, the next thing we need to do is to get some metal since to build each wheel of pain you require 100 metal ingots. Let's just put a marker on that area of the map. I know that there are some metal nodes over there. I must give props to Funcom for the hard work these guys are putting into the game. Only a few months of early access and they fix so many things. For example, they fixed the animation of the wildlife. When the game was launched, the wildlife didn't move properly. So they simply hopped or teleported from point A to point B. 
but at this moment the movement is more fluid and it is how it should be. Oh, you want some hyenas? Get some. Get wrecked. These hyenas are vicious. They give you like a buff if they bite you that you become crippled. So outrun them or running from them is really hard. So coal is a versatile long lasting fuel used in Conan Exiles. You can use coal in furnaces, campfires and fireball cauldrons. Now this sheet will show you how much the coal will last depending on the troll you are using. From having no troll at all and moving up to a level 1 or level 3 will depend how much the coal will last while you're using it. Okay, we got the coal, let's continue our journey to the north part of the map in search of metal. Oh, but we just found another very useful material in the game. Now, with the lower leaves you can craft a potion using the cauldron. In turn, by using this potion, she will grant you health regeneration for a short period of time. Mining, mining, mining. Let's continue to do this. Oh, it's a cannibal camp up there. And we just lost our armor. This is gonna make our task a bit more difficult because we have no armor at all and only this heavy mole. Oh, the spiders, okay. Let's try and get the silk so we can make some flags and the ichor. The ichor will be very useful to improve to higher tiers in the game. Let's get more coal. You can never have enough coal. Since if you want to produce a lot of metal and not only metal but to improve to higher tiers as well, you're gonna need a lot of coal. So I'm just gonna take as much as I can and store in some chests in the base. We do a lot of running in this game. I wish they implemented the mounts already to save us some time. Okay, spider, spider, give me your webs. I want to make banners. Oh, this crippling poison. If you get enough stacks on you, it can kill you in a couple of seconds. Let's just farm these hairy bastards. Okay, we just broke it. And here we are guys, a few minutes north of our base we found the iron nodes. And I also think there is a cannibal camp right above us. I see two guards in front of us, or I saw them. Just get this metal and check it out, they might have some trolls worth getting. These NPCs are still the easiest thing to avoid. Look at these archers. Before they shoot, you just need to move sideways and the arrows will always miss. Honest to God, they really need to fix the aim on these guys. Guys, if you are playing and you have no armor, avoid at all costs entering an NPC camp like this. It's, this one is a medium size. I was lucky because they are in small groups, but if you have a, a large group with you, you might die and lose all your gear. Okay, let's just fast forward to our base and get the metal going. Alright, we're just gathering the last bits and bobs that we need to make the first wheel of pain. I'm planning to build at least two. To be honest, I don't remember the ratio I put on... Uh, taming the trolls but until we get a bigger one I think two will suffice and we got our first wheel of pain my plan is to make at least two I don't remember the races on the server but for now it will do it looks kind of cool right this fellow running around looks like he's uh, making flour out of cereals Okay, cool. We got the first one done. We need to gather a couple extra materials to make the second one. And then we can go for the hunt and try and get a troll or two. Just 
chopping wood, chopping wood. I think we can make the second one. Let's just have a look. Wheel of pain. There we go. Crafting. Okay, we can also make some silk and make the banners. Maybe off camera I'll do some uh, decorations around the building that we already have. Just to make it more appealing and we're gonna try to put this wheel of paint aligned with this one. Okay, it seems good. Let's place it. Let's have a, a second look a bit further. Yeah, it looks okay for now. I'm not gonna pick on it. Now we still need a couple of crafting sessions. For now I'm going to put the smithy on this corner. I might change it, but for now I'm going to place it here. Let this be another night To tie around my bed at night I know I've lost the fight To erase your face, my mind Awake I lie here staring up beyond the sky oh, 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 finished the two wheels of pain and the yoke temple so i travel all the way north again to the troll camp to see if we can find a good utility troll without getting killed but uh, coming without armor was not really the oh no 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 no, no i bugged out oh my god God damn it, I guess I slipped. Oh well, here we are, back in our base. Let's try to make our way north again and recover our loot. And I made it guys, the body didn't despawn and we have our loot here. So I noticed on our last visit that uh, there was a taskmaster in this camp. My goal will be to capture him since the taskmaster will greatly reduce the time it takes for you to break other NPCs that you put inside the Wheel of Pain. Just get wrecked, bitches. Come on, what is this taskmaster? Okay, this one's already spawned again. I need to check the spawn rate on the server because I think it's quite high. You are not a taskmaster. What is it? Let's just get rid of these archers. Did you did this pawn. Two warriors with a shield. What is the guy? Oh, here it is. Hui! Almost killed him. Let's just try and knock him out with a trash on. Okay. Let's grab him. And the animation in this game is quite funny. Oh, do, do you want to say I'm gonna get killed again? Get this guy getting dragged. Okay, the animation is not perfect, but uh, I guess in the future they might change something regarding this uh, animation. And here we are, guys, back in our base with the troll. Now we just need to put him inside the Wheel of Pain and you can do this by arriving near the Wheel of Pain and press um, the interact button 
And now that he's inside, we need to go back into our base, go into the campfire and get the gruel out of it. Uh, you can feed two types of food to the trolls inside the Wheel of Pain. One is gruel and the other one is exotic meat. From personal experience, exotic meat get the job done quicker. Also keep in mind that whenever you put food inside the Wheel of Pain and you turn it on, you're going to have a timer right there. So if you are trying to break a troll and you run out of gruel or exotic cooked meat, you will lose all the process of uh, breaking the trolls. I almost forgot to mention how to make the gruel. So the gruel uh, requires two ingredients. One is fiber and the other one is seeds. Put them together inside the campfire and you produce the gruel. Now exotic meat you can get from, well, uh, the near source will be uh, rhinos. That's what I got mine from. Something is not right. Okay, I might have the taming so high that uh, it was an insta tamed. But keep in mind that if you are playing on an official server, this will take hours to complete. And the higher the troll is, the more hours it takes to break one. Now, after you break a troll, you need to drag them from the Wheel of Pain to your inventory. Be careful because they are uh, quite heavy to carry, so normally you can carry one or two only in your inventory. Then you go to a workbench and uh, you just drag the troll to one of the slots. And if it's the right one, you'll have the animation of him coming out and uh, taking a knee or starting to, to craft something. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed creating the video for you guys. And if you did, please leave a like, drop a comment on the box below, share the content on a social media and subscribe to the channel for new content every week. I'll see you all on the next video. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.